<sighs> all right so it's day 17 we have a bunch of snow still on the ground left over from there ice storm slash turn to snowstorm and uh, somewhere around three o'clock in the morning 3 a.m. we lost power so uh, it is uh, no power means no water for me so <laughs> uh, at least I can do my way in today I got uh, plenty of junk food prepared to uh, get through the day but uh, Let's uh, see if we lost anything. Your weight is 316.8 pounds. All right, so uh, you saw that. I hope well, I know you heard it. Uh, 316.8 pounds we're down from 318 so we did lose a couple of pounds over the week and that's the most I could ask for because it was a difficult week to get through uh, hopefully this week we can uh, shed even more but uh, we'll take what we can get right a little bit of weight loss is better than none at all all right We'll get into something in a little while. Mm. All right, so this is my lunch for the day. Uh, earlier that morning, I ate some of that uh, leftover taco casserole and. I used some uh, shell scoops to as a dip and just ate it that way. Uh, if you want to see how I made that, I will leave that video in the description for you. Still on lockdown from the weather. Well, not lockdown, but hunkering down. The roads are full of ice and snow today. And it's a travel advisory out because of that reason, so... This is a good wintery food for you if you got power. Thank God our power came back on this morning. I've been busy putting up the generator and uh, different things like that. So I come in, I'm hungry, of course. I got me some uh, barbecue sandwiches and uh, I made them myself. Now, all I did was open two cans of white meat chicken. You know, looks like a tuna can, but it's just white meat chicken. And a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's and poured enough in there you know to give it a healthy dose of barbecue within that chicken I took a fork and I spread the barbecue and the chicken together shredded it real good like uh, a shredded barbecue chicken <laughs> and I microwaved it for five minutes and that gives you instant barbecue sandwiches on a snow day instant barbecue <laughs> I have invited guests over in the past and well not invited but I've had surprise guests show up in the past and if I had a can of that sitting around <laughs> I would make them <laughs> barbecue sandwiches and they would think that you know it was uh 
professionally done. <laughs> it is cheap, it is easy, and it is satisfying. And nothing goes as quite as good with barbecue as Lay's barbecue, honey barbecue chips. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a couple of them bad boys on the sandwich to give it a little crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Barbecue chips on a barbecue sandwich. If you ain't willing to try it, you ain't living. <laughs> It's been a heck of a couple of days. Uh, the weigh-in this morning, only dropping close to two pounds. Not quite two pounds, but almost there. From last Monday's weigh-in, is a little bit depressing. I wanted more. But that is really good considering if you go back over the overall week of everything I ate this past week one and a half pounds is good weight loss good healthy easy weight loss <laughs> and it don't look like I'm gonna do any better this week starting out either because I'm trapped in the house with the family. They want to eat more, which is going to lead me to eating more. But at least I have my intermittent fasting window, and that's why it's put in place. So I have a starting time and a cutoff time no matter what, and that is so helpful. But the real trick is to take in less calories during your eating window but still be satisfied enough to make it through to the next day when your eating window starts again so that is what I'm focused on No, this being white meat chicken, it's pretty healthy. Pretty healthier option, anyway, than over pork. But I do prefer pulled pork, and I do cook my own. I got a smoker grill. But if you want to be lazy in a hurry and have something really good to eat, get you about two cans of that white meat chicken, a mixing bowl and your favorite barbecue of choice. <laughs> Everybody was doing panic grocery buying at the store and they had some bread and some buns left and uh, I was at Dollar General and people were saying <laughs> I have no, they don't have any more ham or bologna They had their bread. But in their mind, they didn't have nothing to put on it. I was one aisle over from them. And I bought four cans of this white meat chicken and that barbecue sauce. I said, I am ready to survive the winter storm. <laughs> And uh, you can only eat so much of that taco stuff where you get tired of it, right? I never get tired of this. That is so good. So good and so easy.
my friend is jealous. I gotta give something to the pup. He got it. One sandwich down. <laughs> I've been eating off of both sandwiches. I don't care, McMahon. We don't have no specific pecking order going on here. And get too technical and fancy for you. I know y'all don't care if I eat off of two sandwiches or not. my chips on this one because that was a good idea but whether you put chips on it or not There you go. Go get it. So there you go. What you need easy, quick food. And you like barbecue? Then this is the way to go. Survival food. <laughs> Last bite. All right, here you go. I ain't got no more. Last one. Get. I want you to say hi to the people. <laughs> I was going to hold him up, introduce Oscar to you, but he camera shy for some reason. He ain't shy of this empty plate that he's interested in, though he's right back. Come out. Come out. Say hi to the audience. Maybe another time. Anyway. everybody's day is going good out there I hope y'all have power and are warm wherever you are uh, that seven hours without power sucked <laughs> it sucked even worse having to get up at three o'clock in the morning in 26 degree weather out in the ice and snow mix getting the generator Filling it up with gas, cranking it up, running drop cards everywhere, just so we could stay warm and have a little comfort uh, over into the night. <laughs> uh, thank God I got them space eaters. Well, I have the uh, infrared kind, the safer kind, and uh, we had them going before the power went out, along with the. Uh, central air it kept the central air from coming on they were it was already so warm just off of the three heaters we got uh, <laughs> so uh, we survived the rest of the night and into the morning it came back on around 11 o'clock this morning so thank god for that uh, 
my wife reported the power outage and they text her phone saying this literally <laughs> they text her phone saying it will not be back on until 10 30 p.m <laughs> meaning tonight literally five minutes after that she got that text the power come on i was like damn how are we ever going to survive if we can't use the power that's already back on until 10.30 tonight. <laughs> it's just some comedy and humor that I had going on. <laughs> Gotta keep it fun for times like these. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry I don't have much for the day once again, but hey, I did give you something cool if you watch this to go on, you know. Easy barbecue chicken sandwiches. Uh, surely I don't have to show you how to open a can of chicken, do I? Or uh, how to stick it in a microwave with some barbecue sauce all mixed together for five minutes? You can do that without that kind of explanation, right? I hope so. I really hope you can. I hope you forgive me for not doing it. Next time I'll do it. But I was too hungry. <laughs> <laughs> to worry about that at the time and after I got it made I was thinking oh maybe I should have filmed this sorry but uh I think I explained in detail how to get it done I think most people will catch on <laughs> and if you can't uh the next time if you can't then leave it in the comments and uh, next time I will make a video explaining in detail how it's done I will walk it to the can opener video that and uh, scrape it out into the mixing bowl you know and pour the barbecue sauce in there on top of it and shred it and mix it at the same time and then walk it over to the microwave and I will videotape me sticking it in there for five minutes and it comes out blistering hot but so good so satisfying that really hit the spot and that's what I will be eating later as well because uh, it is 2.15 right now and I feel like I could probably eat about two more of those before 5 o'clock today so we will see you then and if we don't see you then means I decided not to eat again and we will see you tomorrow but we'll probably see you then but if not have a good one all right so i just cut the camera back on let you know i decided not to eat anything else today i want to try to slow down on eating so much this week because last week i really <laughs> hey i ain't gonna complain uh i figured it up on the calculator <laughs> and uh, my starting weight was 328 pounds minus three sixteen point eight that equaled out to be eleven point two pounds lost so <sighs> not quite 12 pounds or not quite two pounds of weight loss but uh we did get a pound and we're on the way to the two pound loss mark for the week uh hey we'll take it uh <laughs> i lost a pound uh what can i say i lost a pound i could have lost more but uh i decided to enjoy this week with my wife uh i got a hundred pounds to lose my goal is within this year so I can't I can't complain uh, started on January 1st it's January the 17th I lost 11 pounds in 17 days that's uh, ahead of the ball game actually when they say that healthy weight loss is anywhere from one to three pounds uh, two to three pounds a week something like that yeah uh -huh. I'm ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the game, so. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning, and I got to eat amazing stuff this past week, like 
uh, a blondie at Applebee's, you know, that brownie, butter pecan brownie with the ice cream on top with a white, uh, white ganache or whatever it's called to pour over the top of it. It was awesome. I ate stuff like that. I ate the sofa pee at the Mexican restaurant, both of which I shared with my wife. I didn't eat the whole dessert uh, by myself, but we'll try to uh, stay away from those type of things throughout this week to have a better weight loss result next Monday. But I'm going to be happy. I'm going to take it as a positive thing. Uh, I do need to do better, though. That's really kind of close. <laughs> Close to, you know, not, not losing anything at all. I don't want that. So, uh, let's just say, uh, first month ain't even, ain't even over with. We're just halfway through this bad boy called January. <laughs> so, let's just calculate it. 100. Correct. Eleven. Now eighty-nine more pounds to lose. I am no longer sitting at a hundred. I'm not even sitting at ninety. I am one pound under ninety. I got eighty-nine pounds to lose before the end of the year. That's a long way away, and we're already eleven pounds down. Let's see if we can do better next week. I really, really want to get under 300. That is not going to happen. I am facing that music uh, before the end of this month. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to get as close to 300 as I can get by the end of the month. And uh, hopefully we can make that happen. But if I do get under 300 before January runs out. Uh, it's going to be party time, baby. <laughs> I will have to celebrate with some kind of big dessert then. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> we'll just have to see if I can do it by the end of January. Give me an incentive to get there. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, so I don't know what I was thinking or what I was going to say, but uh, oh, we're just going to call it a night from here because my mind ain't with it today. Uh, that might actually affect what the scale says as well because I've uh, been through a heck of a week. Heck of a week. Uh, this snowstorm doesn't help, and we got another one on the way. So that's going to really affect how things go. Um, by Friday this week, it's Monday now, by Friday, we got another snowstorm rolling in. So I'm going to be stuck indoors longer than I want to be. Uh, Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's, uh, Hope tomorrow is a better day. Later.